Come on, Dad. It's either FTCR or Radio Disney. Hello and welcome to another Skype Sanctuary where I'm going to be doing something a little bit differently. Uh, of the FTCR people, I am the only one here because there's, there's uh, I, think I was going to say a topic, but it's actually a bunch of topics that I've wanted to talk about, just get off my chest for a while, but none of them want to do with me. But I mean, it's also because they're busy, but who knows? So I got my other friend who's very knowledgeable with this kind of stuff. Uh, it's, it's, it's a girl named Tori. <laughs> you excited so awkward during the opening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm always <laughs> awkward in I the mean, opening. I mean, you're just an awkward person. I know this. But it still makes me laugh. You don't have to and rub I'm it in my face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I remember New Year's happened. New Year's happened, it's okay. I've seen you at your worst. I'm sad again. Oh no, don't be sad. <laughs> don't be sad. All right, so we are talking about a few different topics today. Um, one is anime. Um, yeah. yeah, one one is anime because Stefan has been watching a bunch of anime. Um, I'm going to be screaming about Comrade for 20 minutes or something whenever Stefan thinks that I've screamed enough and I even have, I even have props. I, I, it's not actually on. That, that's embarrassing. Um, so, hmm. and, and, and what else are we talking about? I don't know what else we are talking about. It, it's basically just, I, uh, cause like, like you mentioned, I've been watching, Namely, since the, since last year, really, I suddenly started after years and years of being like, "Nah, I don't watch anime." There's maybe like two or three that I watch, but then suddenly I've just been going on a binge of finding all of these shows that I've loved, and I'm just going through them. So now I'm like, "Oh, I really want to talk about them. Really want to show. I want to tell people how much I love them." And like, I know there's there's a small group of people that do that. Uh, I already did a I already did a big uh, podcast on My Hero Academia like a couple months ago but that's also that, that that that's like one of the biggest animes and that's also superhero stuff so that's that's more quote-unquote mainstream and more my kind of thing so i think it'd be interesting to go through all the very the, the things you may be a bit surprised to see me like talk about how much i love because the, the, there's a couple of them that like be like really that but I love, but I like them and other stuff that I want to watch, but I haven't had a chance to. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, the, the interesting is that Stefan's very, really into that, like mainstream. I'm very much not. And it's not because I'm like, oh, mainstream anime, blah, like an elitist. No, it's just, I, I didn't like Boku no Hero Academia. I just didn't like it. I didn't like a One Punch Man. I didn't like Mob Psycho. I'm more into, like, your uh, Kaki Gurui. Uh, when that aired, people were like, that has to be mainstream. No, it, it didn't get a lot of a lot of screen time. And Magical Girl Raising Project. And Yuki and I as a hero. And, okay, well, actually, that's a lie. I do, like, one mainstream anime, and that was Death Note. And by, like, Death Note, I mean, I have Death Note in pretty much every freaking single format that you could probably think of. I own all the movies on DVD. I own the anime on DVD. I own the manga, like, three, three, wait. I own the box set. I own them all individually. And I own the black editions three different times. See, I had to actually count it. So, um, when I, when I like something, I go, like, oh, this is going to be crude. I like going balls deep. I didn't know, I don't know if you need to cut that, bleep that, or if that's too lewd for your channel, but. Yeah, balls deep. That's too lewd, yeah. <laughs> of course. Okay, so you're just going to have to bleep that out, and people are going to just have to use their imaginations for what I said. 
No, that's and uh, I, I'm I'm the same way because like I'm basically gonna be doing this that same thing for My Hero Academia. I'm gonna buy. I'm buying all the seasons. I'm buying all the vol. I have almost all the volumes. Probably gonna buy if they do re-releases. I'm gonna buy those. I'm gonna buy the spin-offs. I'm just gonna go all. I'm gonna go balls in on that. Oh series. my god. See, I don't know. When, like, guys say it, it sounds really weird to me. But, like, when I say it, I'm like, yeah, it sounds fine. But when I hear other people say it, I'm like, mmm, cream pies? Oh, Dude. I just... <laughs> oh, man. There's going to be a lot of bleeping in this opening section. Like, lots of bleeping. You're, you know, Or you're going to get demonetized to heck. So. It's a podcast. Who cares? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, you're not in, incorrect, but you know, um, oh. any, uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, topic, I, topic. All right. I'm just to start this off. I want to say, so the anime that made me like, that got me back into anime, well, not back into that got me into wanting to search out more anime and watch them a lot is Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Oh, man. That, that That's one, it's just, because I remember, I think the, the first time I saw it was, like, on Twitter, and I saw people posting images and video clips of it. I'm like, ooh, what's this? Th- 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 this looks really funny. This looks really cute. I kind of want to watch it. So I found clips of it on YouTube. I found uh, other p- places of it online. I started watching uh, more clips, and then I watched the episodes, and I was like, this is really good. I really like this. And then I ended up watching the whole thing. And then I kept rewatching. Then I kept rewatching it over and over and over. And I just couldn't stop nah. myself. Then I, I tracked down the manga and I started reading the manga. And I was like, I really, I really like this. I like, I like the characters. I love the animation style. I think the humor is really good. It's just, and it's, and it's also just very sweet. And it, it has a nice, uh, theme and message and just the is the whole execution of it like I've, I've always liked how japanese movies and shows in general had a very slower pace a very slower pace and a kind of small scale to it like where, where where it's when they if they when they need to they'll just kind of stay back and just kind of let a let a scene breathe when it needs to and then let a scene go super super fast when when that needs to and i feel like Dragon Maid is one of the is one of the best examples of that, and I love the and because I I always watch the, I always watch the dubs for these. I love the dub especially. Like I love those voice actors. Have you even seen the sub to compare them? Yeah, I have seen the sub. I've seen like uh, yeah, I've seen okay, the yeah. whole sub, and I I like some of the voices better than the others. Okay, because I was about to call you a dub apologist, and I was gonna. Or ring you through the ringer, but since I don't like it, I don't have to do that. Um, if you like shows like that, I would recommend One Way Friends. Actually, mm-hmm. uh, One Way uh, One Way Friends is um, it's a really nice uh show. Basically, this girl um loses her memory at the end of every week. She loses memory of her friends, and it, it's never really explained why it happens. But this one guy keeps trying to be her friend every week. And keeps trying over and over again, and they slowly like gr- build a little group of friends that she doesn't forget. It's it is it's it's nice. It makes me happy. I think I've actually I think I've heard about that before. Yeah, the Japanese uh, name it Ishikun friends. So. I will. I'll add it to the the ever growing list. Yeah, along with uh, ten centimeters per sec. Uh, tell them that our love was only 10 centimeters apart, which I also recommended that we were supposed to watch on New Year's, but we never did. Yeah, that, that was that was one I wanted to watch because it was like, well, there, there's of course the uh, crap. Why, why am I blanking on his name? The director of your name, uh, uh, M- Makoto Shinkai. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think so. This I, is gonna um, bug. This is gonna bug me. Yeah, Makoto Shinkai. Think- yeah, because he did Beast Wars and Summer Wars. No, that and was it, no Beast Wars and Summer Wars was the director of uh, uh, Girl Left Her Time. Right. Okay. So yeah, I'm bad at directors. Like yeah, no, 
Yeah, no, uh, yeah, five. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Makoto Shinkai. He did five centimeters per second, and that's an anime movie that I refuse to watch on principle. On principle, be- they be- yeah, he gets sad very easily. Yeah, because I get sad very easily, especially with, especially with some stuff like love, like especially loves like sad loves depressing love stories like that. They 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 really like hit me hard. So just just reading the synopsis and reading like the plot descriptions, I was like, yeah, I can't watch this. This is too devastating for me. Like I'm, I just be, I just be a broken mess. But there is Stefan's a romantic. I am kind of. Oh, I I uh, I, I, no, I, I am no, no, that's bull. That's bull. I know you're a romantic. I've heard seen you. I've heard you. You can't hide the truth I, from me. I've seen it. I, I I try. Whether I'm successful with it is is it's a question mark. But <laughs> I I mean, as somebody who's been on the uh, on the receiving end of seven attempts to be romantic, I I think you succeed. Thanks. You're welcome. But even though it's uh it's completely unrelated to i did like find out that oh there is there's a 10 centimeters like anime called our love has always been 10 centimeters apart that i looked into and like oh that actually sounds like something like it's a high school drama like i i'm yeah. kind of, i'm kind of into those like especially like i've been reading a lot there's there's a bunch of uh comics like with that that i've been like really getting into so i'm like oh that that seems something that'd be up my alley i should check it out i just haven't got a chance to yeah, and I mean, I was the one that introduced you to it because it's based off of a, a series of Vocaloid songs by Honeyworks, which is like my favorite Vocaloid composer of all time. And I will literally fight anybody who disagrees. Yeah, I like I like no no I like know nothing about Vocaloid, so it's basically just I just kind of go off what I see from other people. Like, oh yeah, that's it's Japanese techno music. Not quite, but close enough. See, I'm. Wrong. I don't know anything. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'll give you a lesson, uh, one of these days. Okay. I'm gonna go through the rest of my list. Like, so like the ones that I'm currently watching, uh, uh, Persona Five, the animation, because I'm obsessed. I love Persona Five so much. So of course I'm gonna watch the anime. I know it's it's got. I'll, I'll I'll play Persona three and four when I get the chance, along play with everything Persona else. 3. I'm gonna play four. I'm gonna play four first because I actually own four, um, and then I'll then I'll do three. But I know I know the the Persona five anime has gotten a lot of slack because it's based like other. I've heard a lot of people be like, "Oh, it, it's not doing anything. Like it's not doing anything new. It's like there's no point. It's pointless. It's like just rushing through everything." And to oh, me, it's so kind of like. Perso- uh... Oh, like the Persona Four anime, which was pointless and boring. Yeah, yeah, but the yeah. the I think the thing is like, I I kind of like, especially given that oh, it's only gonna be twenty five episodes. You're doing the whole story. It's kind of like, what else are you gonna be able? Like, there isn't much you can add to it. So it's really just like the reason I watch it is because I I, I like these characters and I want to see even if it's just redoing the whole thing again. I want to see them like go through it again because I enjoy them and I like seeing these things especially and also because the the small tiny like additions to it I do think really work and I kind of like so they're yeah. they're worth it enough to want to go through and like oh see like what 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 new changes will they add to it yeah see I'm not watching that um just because I'm in my own pit of hell but Persona 5 let me tell you Girl, Ketchy is my boy. Holy <sighs> shit. Girl, Ketchy is my boy, and you can take that growling and second go at the window, because damn. I, uh... love, I love me some pancakes, guys. <laughs> You you love you love you you love you some spoiler alert murderous rageaholic pancakes. Pancakes. You know what? Mm. I you know what? the whole pancake thing. I realized my first time through. I didn't even need to wait for them to explain it. I was like, oh, oh, oh. I, I didn't. I well, I didn't notice. I you had didn't, a friend you, tell you, me. You 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 didn't catch it. No, I didn't catch it. I had a friend tell me, oh. "Hey, did you notice? 
Yeah, because I was just I was more so like looking. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to those smaller. Although what's funny is that after after that happened, I started paying attention to more things. So everything else started being more obvious. So be like, oh, there wasn't any more surprises after that. After I realized, yeah. But Man, yeah, like the, go, go are my, catching is fine. No, I I could go on a twenty to thirty minute rant on just why I hate Akechi. The problem is that I like Goro Kechi, but there is a lot wrong with his character arc. Like, there is a lot wrong with it. And not to mention that they're obviously going to uh, give you an option of... Oh, uh, shit. Spoilers. I almost spoiled the thing. Uh, basically, Goro Kechi is probably going to get a bigger role in the remake of Persona 5 that's inevitably going to come out. Because that's the way that Stefan, you know, the way that he kind of, he supposedly yeah. does the thing. I, and they yeah. didn't even show that he did the thing. I think he didn't actually do the thing and he's going to continue. He's going to come back in the re, in the remake after he supposedly does the thing. Yeah, but but but, but that, that that's our uh, to, to keep to keep it kind of short. To keep my rant kind of short. The yeah. problem is that I feel like he's never actually redeemed for what he does. Like pe- people call him like a precious boy. Like I think he worked. Like again, well, spo- again, spoiler. I'm pretty sure everybody's watching this has already played or was seen Persona Five, so they know oh, about everything. Well, like, you been- should have told me, or I wouldn't have been so vague. No, it, it's fine. I was trying to be vague, but I'm like, no, people, people who are listening to this have already known. So ba- it, it's just I don't like how th- this this guy who it's revealed that oh he's the he was the villain the whole time and he was wasn't under some mind control he wasn't like misguided he had a plan and he went through with it and he murdered so many people and in the end they're like oh no it's not your your fault it's yes it is and he wasn't sorry for it like the the reason he sacrificed himself to save the other guys is because the guy he was gonna betray he found out was gonna betray him oops and and in and uh, after the whole thing is like, hey, do you, you remember Futaba's palace? How we felt so bad for her mother, and we so wanted to find out who murdered her, who murdered uh, her mother. Akechi did. Do they ever bring this up? Nope. nope. And that see, really I, bugs me. See, I just I just like terrible people as characters. My, I like him as a vil- like as a villain. I like him like he he's he's complex and he has like a good backstory and he's like an interesting antagonist, but as a like a character you're supposed to like. It's like uh nope. Uh the, 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 he's one of those polarizing characters it's like uh if, if you like him or don't. Um and yeah, I like, like when... him, but but I also like Loki in uh, in in the Marvel MCU, so so, um, uh, the what other animes have you been watching anyway? Uh, let me see. Uh, th- those two, uh, one that I've been slowly trying to catch up on that's re- gets going on right now is Darling in the Franks. I cannot because... watch that, man. Hmm. It's I I tried and I just it's it, it's a robot girl and a guy fucking basically. I yeah, the the, the symbolism is so on the nose that it's kind of laughable. But yeah. I want I, I like the characters, and I want to like see what's going what's going to happen with these characters, and I think the animation is great. So I'm like, see, if I want to watch something like Darling in the Franks, I'll go back and watch Alba Noah Zero, or yeah. I'll, or or I'll watch Gundam uh, Gundam Build Drivers, because mm-hmm. that's airing too. Like yeah. like I I don't know I I can't. It's so on the nose that I find it personally uncomfortable, and like everybody yeah. seems to love it, and I get it, but I, I just personally can't get into it. Like it's kind of what happened with Re Zero when that was airing, because that 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 became super super popular like super quickly, and I I was like, okay, this is fine, whatever people are going to talk about, it, then it's going to end, and people will. You know, just let it go and it'll blow over. No, people kept talking about it even when it finished, and I was like, okay, but let, let's watch this. And it was really uncomfortable. Like that show was just very uncomfortable for me. And it was the main character wasn't likable at all. And like, like 
I don't know. I couldn't get into it, and I think it's just kind of the same, the same here. Um, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, and I'm, but I'm also into like horror, so you know, different, yeah. different taste. To listen to the rest of this episode and every other episode of Skype Sanctuary, please go to skypesanctuary.com or look for us on Apple Podcasts. Gordon? <laughs>